Hello, welcome to Cat Science Club. We got a special guest today. Amanda Podak is here from Fulton County Soil and Water, and she is gonna do a nice hands-on activity with us to explain the rock cycle. So we are going to do the rock cycle today, and we're going to be using crayons for this. So to start off, we are going to demonstrate, this is an igneous rock, nice and smooth, maybe a little grainy. Now we are going to be simulating weathering that's taking place over time. So we are making sediments. So assuming hundreds of thousands of years have gone by. Right, so now we are going to have erosion taking place. Wind blowing our sediments here. And all our sediments. Now we're going to do compaction. So applying some pressure. So our igneous rock is now being transformed into a sedimentary rock. You can see all the different layers. Ooh, so it's solid. It's not just a bunch of crumbs anymore. Right. Nice. Okay. All right. So now we want to take and make a little boat with all of our, our sedimentary rock here inside. And our next step, we had applied the pressure, so now we are going to turn on the heat. And put some hot water in here. Okay, we're gonna set the boat just on top of the water. Oh, look at that. You can see it's starting to melt. So the change is taking place. We now have metamorphic rock. So we're going to put it back in and allow it to completely melt, which will ta -da, be magma. So as this rock is melting, what is the significance of that? So this is magma inside the earth. Molten rock. Molten rock. So what are the three main types of rocks? Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. I think it's ready. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take it out. And we're going to allow it to cool and harden. All right. So now that it's cooled and hardened, pop that off. We are right back. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Right back to our igneous rock. Very cool. Well, thanks, Amanda. I appreciate that. You coming out and showing my class that. It was a great activity, and you do an amazing job. Thanks. thanks. Bye. All right. So we are going to complete the rock cycle today. It Right. Does the rock cycle ever end? No. So this would be like lava on the surface or magma inside the earth? What the, do you think? Well, the magma inside the earth is when it's really, really hot. And then outside, I would say lava cooling, hardening. Yeah. I'm going to go with, uh, with that too. Lava on the outside of the earth because it's cooling pretty fast and lava or magma on the inside of the earth when it cools it slow, slowly cools and it forms really large grain igneous rocks doing it okay. just got your hands <laughs>
Trying to get right. the biggest piece up. Oh, it, it's already can. cracking. They would be responsible if it broke in half because that's really, really cool. Alright. Check this out. What happened? What type of rock? Right. Got some good pieces. Ah! Oh, look at that. Yes! yes! Look at that! So cool. Right, show me that one. Does it make sense why more sediments? <laughs> this is good. Why don't you have a piece of bread? Fun? Was it fun? Yeah. Okay. No eating crayons, oh my goodness.